So let me be blunt. A Trudeau-led government with the NDP calling the shots would be the worst possible outcome for Canadians. Conservative leader Andrew Scheer continues to warn Canadians of a Liberal NDP coalition. He was in Fredericton this morning and later took his campaign to Saint-Georges, Quebec, the rotting of People's Party of Canada leader Maxime Bernier. He ended the day in Drummondville. The CBC's Katie Simpson is covering the Conservatives this week for us. Katie? Oh, Vashi, where to even start today? Conservative leader Andrew Scheer rolled into a Fredericton brewery to speak with supporters and reporters heading into the final weekend of campaigning. Out of nowhere, and with no evidence to back up his claim, he asserted a Liberal government with support of the NDP would raise the GST. Despite no one making that promise in this campaign, Scheer stood by his assertion when challenged. Why dabble in this kind of misinformation campaign? Well, it's not misinformation at all. Uh, we know that the Liberals uh, are contemplating these types of things. We can be sure that taxes will go up to pay for an NDP coalition. This is the coalition that you cannot afford. Progressive Conservative New Brunswick Premier Blaine Higgs, who also stopped by today's event to offer his endorsement of Scheer, defended the unfounded speculation. He then went on the offensive, saying under the Trudeau government, the Federation has never been so divided, taking straight aim at Quebec for not being appreciative enough of the equalization funding support it receives. So are you suggesting Quebec is maybe like the favorite child right now because nobody's saying it? Well, not right now. It's been a continuous thing. I mean, it's been forever, really. Um, so that's not a new thing, but but it's uh, th we recognize this, it's different. I mean that that's that's fair enough. But there has to be some national interest. I mean when you get, and I've said it many times, when you get 13 billion a year in transfer payments for being part of a nation, then there's got to be some obligations that come with that. Scheer is badly trying to regain support in Quebec, ceding ground to the Bloc Québécois. Premier Higgs's comments today isn't going to help with that effort. Vashi, are you ready for even? more harmful conservative cuts. Cuts that are four times larger than Doug Ford's. Liberal leader Justin Trudeau countered Scheer's comments with a warning of his own that Canadians can't afford, he says, conservative cuts. Trudeau is campaigning in vote-rich Ontario, making stops in Whitby, Aurelia, Barrie and Vaughan. The CBC's Salima Shivji is on that campaign for us. Salima? Hey, Vashi. Well, after two days in Quebec, now it is two days devoted to Ontario for Justin Trudeau to get out his message that a conservative government spells cuts and that the Liberals are the only ones in a position to stop them. Interesting that Justin Trudeau is on offense here. His team has really been targeting every stop carefully with evening rallies aiming to be a show of force and daytime campaigning in Tory-held ridings because the, the Liberals' narrative tying federal conservative leader Andrew Scheer to Ontario Premier Doug forward, believing that, you know, lines like, remember, hold my beer, that Justin Trudeau keeps repeating, those messaging seemingly to work. That narrative, the reason Doug Ford also staying clear of Andrew Scheer's campaign, not wanting to drag it down. Now, Trudeau's liberals do know that they have lost ground in Quebec to the Bloc Québécois and that in B.C. the races are pretty unpredictable. So Ontario is very crucial for them and they do feel like that their messaging is working. Messages like the one from today, Trudeau calling out the Conservatives for claiming that the Liberals would have a hidden home tax on home sales or that they plan and employ with the NDP to raise the GST. Those claims are entirely untrue. It is unfortunate that the Conservatives keep having to make up attacks against us. But all they're offering is cuts. There is a chance that there could be a conservative government, and that would mean cuts. Trudeau always bringing that message back to cuts, hoping that that fear brings voters out to the ballot box. Bashi. Mr. Trudeau is going to tell you that you don't have a choice in this election, that you have to vote out of fear. He's going to tell you you can only vote for Mr. Trudeau, you can only vote for the Liberals. The Conservatives are going to tell you, though, you have to vote for Conservatives. I want to tell you that they don't own your vote. NDP leader Jagmeet Singh, meanwhile, urged Canadians to ignore his opponent's strategies. He's in B.C. for the rest of the campaign, making stops today in Nanaimo, Port Alberni and Victoria. The CBC's Hannah Thibodeau is covering the NDP's campaign. Hannah? Hey, Vashi. Well, as the campaign winds down, it's becoming clearer that the government is likely to be a minority one. But NDP leader Jagmeet Singh is getting less clear about how he would actually handle that type of situation. And would he defeat it if it's a liberal or conservative minority government and throw the country back into an election? 
When he was asked over and over if there was any policy he could work with the Conservatives on, he avoided answering the question, even if it was something like cell phone bills and lowering the cost of them. He just repeated over and over he'll try to prevent Andrew Scheer from becoming the Prime Minister in the first place. I want Canadians to know that, you know, the values that we speak to are that we're not going to support uh, a Conservative minority government. We're not going to support in any way Mr. Scheer being put into the Prime Minister's seat. But if Scheer gets into the PM seat, he's promised the first thing he would do is scrap the carbon tax. So Singh was asked if the NDP would vote against it, even if that could potentially send Canadians back to the polls. No clear answer. So what about a potential Liberal government? Would Singh make cancelling the Trans Mountain Pipeline a condition of supporting a Trudeau minority? No clear answer. I am fully opposed to the Trans Mountain. I've been opposed to it. I will continue to be opposed to it. So with only a few days left of campaigning, the hypothetical scenarios are being discussed. And the NDP isn't ruling anything out, including toppling a potential minority government, Fashi. Green Party leader Elizabeth May was also on Vancouver Island today where the Greens have two seats and are looking to pick up more. Battleground BC is a really important part of this national election. It's critical and Greens are very excited here on Vancouver Island and the Lower Mainland and I wear my husband's campaign button, Mission Matsqui Fraser Canyon, John Kidder. We are running strong campaigns, Ian Curry in Kamloops. We're running strong campaigns across British Columbia and, and uh, I don't think it will be all over before the polls close in BC. Far from it. I think that Quebecers might one day, I don't know when, I don't know how, I don't know what would be the question and it's not in my agenda today. There, that might come again because this is democracy, but this is not the, the question of the polls on this October 21st. If they want to know if in my art I believe that Quebec should have all the powers of a sovereign country, the answer is of course yes. How would that happen? I must admit that today I do not know. Bloc Québécois leader Yves-François Blanchet spoke today about holding another referendum on separatism, saying it's not part of his agenda, but it could happen. He was campaigning today in Quebec City. People's Party of Canada leader Maxime Bernier was also in Quebec City today. On va dire plus qu'un député. He spoke out about Conservative leader Andrew Scheer campaigning in Bernier's riding today. Bernier says he's confident that he'll win his seat and continue to grow his party. He spent most of the campaign in his home riding of Beauce, Quebec. Hi, I'm Vashi Capello's host of Power in Politics. See more of our show by subscribing to the CBC News Channel or click the link for another video.